Hi guys, this is Joey Rowan and this is the video for the Blood Moon SVAT, which is tonight, 29th of October, and I am here to give you some information about it if you don't know about it, and I wish you all the SVAT blessings for everybody who does. So, the Blood Moon is also known as the Falling Leaf or Hunter's Moon. I really like the poetic nature of the idea of the Falling Leaf Moon, I think that's a beautiful imagery, but both... Um, the Blood Moon and the Hunter's Moon work for the symbolism of that this SBAT represents. The Night of the Blood Moon is a great time for divination of all kinds. It is a moon of new goals, protection, resolution and spirituality. At this time of year, all of nature is making ready for winter. Animals are gathering the last scraps of food so that they can begin to hibernate and birds are flying south. So it is the ending of one cycle. Um, and it's very similar in themes to Samhain. In human societies, this used to be the time of year when we turned from agriculture to the hunt for subsistence. Um, and it's also rising to fullness in the opening of hunting seasons worldwide. Whether or not you agree with them is something else. As hunters, we should take full responsibility for any and all life we harvest to sustain our own. During the moon, we give thanks to the animals who gave their lives so that ours may continue, including your offerings of thanks to the world of fruit and vegetables, because make no mistake, their lives are cut short to sustain yours, whether they are taken from the ground or from the vine, their life is cut short to sustain ours. Um, there's a really lovely idea um, within Dorothy Morrison's book about immortalising these wonderful caring creatures in your magic. Apple seeds for love charms, lemon rind for protection and small bones in evidence of strength and power um, so that is taking aspects of um, fruit and veg and animals that you have consumed to add to your life honoring their sacrifice and incorporating what's left behind in your magic um, sort of Honouring their sacrifice in the same breath as you are bringing them back into the world of magic and energy. So, continuing a different cycle of life and death. Um, okay, so this is a time to reflect on what you did during the year and evaluate your accomplishments. So, I think it's a really good time um, to honour sacrifice. Um, think about the sacrifices you have made and the nature of sacrifice in general. So everybody has to make sacrifices. It's just part of life. It's part of the learning process. It's part of the cycle. We can't always have things the way we want them and it's often better that we don't. Um, without loss there is no understanding of, of um, joy. You know, without sadness, there is no understanding of happiness. There is no balance. And everybody has to understand the balance of energies within our own lives. Um, excuse me. So I think that's a really great theme to bring into your SBAT ritual. You give thanks for the lessons you have learned. You give thanks for the things you have been received. And you maybe, it's not really discussing, it's sort of meditating upon your sacrifices. What didn't go right? What um, did you have to give up? And honouring those sacrifices, as in sacrifice to the goddess, that you understand that this was necessary and what you learned, perhaps. And it's a really great time to sacrifice something to the goddess. And I am not talking about um, anything distasteful, animals or anything like that. That's revolting. I'm talking about an offering from yourself to the goddess. Um, if you were of the mind where you wanted to offer a little blood to the goddess, um, there are hygienic and safe ways to do that with a lancet or... Um, I don't know. Whatever you thought was an appropriate sacrifice to the, the goddess, I don't know, something like that maybe. With it being the blood moon, blood makes sense. That's up to you whether you feel right about it or not. You could you could incorporate different things in different ways. For example, you could make a incense or a candle which contained dragon's blood resin and burn that. It's a really nice idea. I might do that later. Uh, 
do, 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 do. This is a time to reflect on you, evaluate your accomplishments, and you also want to check to see how you will, inverted commas, survive the upcoming months. Make sure you have enough money in the bank. If you work a seasonal, you might want to do some magic to find other ways to support yourself. If you work outdoors, do magic to help you survive the cold winter months ahead. Check on things that are important to safety and survival. How are the tyres on your car? The um, smoke alarm, alarm in your kitchen. Um, this is to do with theme, but it's also to do with common sense. It's it's checking you are ready for winter because in the times gone by, um, when people lived much more by the land, and it was you know to make sure you had enough firewood, to make sure you'd be warm enough, to make sure the food would last you through the seasons, um, and we lose a bit of that in modern society because we can just go down the shops. Um, so it's nice to come back to that idea, to, to remember how our ancestors perhaps lived um, without these rose-tinted glasses on. Think, you know, if they didn't have enough food, they'd die. Um, if they didn't have enough heat, they'd die. And it's a wonderful time now and at Samhain to honour your ancestors in that respect, to honour their progression through time, their progression through um, life and experience and invention, and so that we live the way we do now. Um, and their sacrifice. Sacrifice being the big theme, I think. Um, because the holidays are fast approaching, you might want to do some work to remove stress and negativity from your surroundings. So, whoop, get your smudge stick out. <laughs> um, get smudging. I've gone to do that today myself. I have a, a few other things to do, but cleansing your home of negativity... It's a, it, I mean, it should be a regular practice, but now is a really good time of year just to oomph it out because it's now is getting into the darker time of the year. It can be easier for us to attract negative energies because we feel slightly more negative within ourselves. That it's getting dark, it's getting colder. These things can um, trigger in our brains um, seasonal affective disorder. And even if, if you don't have that, it can still trigger... Um, things in your brain because of the lack of light it, it, it brings you down and um, sometimes it can be difficult to keep a positive outlook to keep um, that joy and keep remembering the happy times and that's why I had videos before as like keep doing things which bring joy in you know decorate your home for Halloween decorate your home for Yule um, get crafty you start a new project start reading because then it helps you progress through the dark time of the year. So cleansing your home of negativity in, in all those different ways, cleansing, purifying with your incense or your smudge stick, um, decorating, maybe painting, maybe changing the colour of your home, whatever, just to bring it in, you know, and um, starting new projects is a really good idea too. Um, this is also a great time to celebrate for women. Um, maidens and crones for the beginning ebbs and the ending flows of their moon cycles. And I think that is personal on the witch. If you know where you are in your cycle of life. So a couple more ideas. Uh, wear red or wine colours, dark red colours to honour um, the lives lost. Uh, use red candles, as I'd already suggested. Burn a spicy incense, cinnamon, nutmeg and ginger, perhaps. Serve red apple cider or red apple juice if you wanted a non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic, not alcoholic, non-alcoholic um, version. And if you've um, lost any pets this year, this is um, uh, the perfect aspect to honour their passing, to say a few words, to... Um, read an epitaph to say how much you miss them and honour their life um, because this aspect is all about animals primarily that the you know the aspect sort of precedes Sawain where that's more about human ancestors and this aspect tends to focus more on the animal and, and vegetable side of um, sacrifice. That's not to say you can't bring in little bits and pieces if you if, of if human if you've lost someone and you want to, you know, honour them. So I'm not going to go through all the other SBAT stuff. There's a lot more information in the Blue Moon with um, 
call them the quarters and things like that. Um, the basic of my Esbat ritual stayed the same, so I've already covered that in previous videos. But I thought I would um, put a little video out here because it is tonight. I wanted to get this done and dusted, and so it's out. Okay, so that is it for now. I will probably record one or two more videos on the video recorder and they will be up later this evening. So a whole array of videos after uh, a few days off. So many blessings.